The next patient that we're going to see is a 32-year-old male who was recently diagnosed with ALS. About five months ago, he started experiencing cramping in his left leg and um, also noticed that his left foot was catching on the ground while he was walking, causing him to trip, especially on uneven surfaces or if he was carrying things um, like groceries into the house. He also has painless twitching in the muscles in his right arm, and that's making um, buttoning his shirt, tying his tie, helping his children get dressed difficult. He has um, no significant past medical history, so he's healthy other than his ALS diagnosis. He's been married for 10 years. Together, he and his wife have three children and one on the way. They live in a two-story house. Um, to get into his house, there are four steps with no railing. To get to the second story, there are 12 steps with bilateral rails. And to the basement, you have to go down 10 steps with a railing on the right. He does report that recently he's quit carrying the 18-month-old, the youngest son, because he is afraid that he will um, catch his foot on the ground while he's walking and trip and fall with the child. He also reports that he's very tired during the day and he's not sure if this is because of his ALS or because he's not getting enough sleep at night because he's lying awake thinking about the progression of his disease and what will happen to his family in the future. Um, he's now only working part-time at his job as an insurance agent um, because he's no longer able to work the eight hours and he also wants to spend more time with his family. He also is looking into disability options and looking into the future. He recently had an EMG done that showed low compound motor action potentials in all of his extremities, um, normal sensory nerve conduction, fibrillations and fasciculations in all of his extremities, widespread neurogenic changes, changes in motor action potential, abnormal recruitment patterns in the distal muscles in his leg, and mild to moderate changes in his upper extremities. He also has marked wasting of the NRIC bilaterally. His range of motion is pretty much within normal limits, other than um, he's only able to oppose his thumb to his third digit, and he's lacking five degrees of left ankle dorsiflexion. His strength, again, is pretty much within normal limits, other than he gets a three minus on the left ankle dorsiflexors. Um, no assistive device is needed for gait, um, but he does have left foot drop and left hip hiking. Um, the balance on his right side is pretty good. Um, he, was, he did a single leg stance with eyes open on the right. He got 25 seconds. On the left, however, he only got 6 seconds. He rates himself a 90% on the Schwab and England activities of daily living scale, so that's good. His speech is normal. Um, but again, he is worried about the progression of his disease and what will happen to his family in the future. Um, since he is worried about his family, um, I thought it was important to address the limitation of being able to carry his children, especially since he has an 18-month-old and his wife is pregnant with one on the way. Um, I feel like his role as a father is being taken away from him because of this disease, and I'd like to be able to help give that back to him you know, even in this small way. But um, I want to address the decreased dorsal ankle flexion on the left and his um, decreased balance on the left as well. So I thought for the dorsiflexion, I'm going to do the TheraBand technique where you wrap it around the dorsiflexors, bring it up to the hip, tie it, and have him walk and see if he, you know, is comfortable with that. If he is, I'll give him some TheraBand. He can take it home. He can use that, especially when he's carrying his children around or if he's bringing groceries into the house, walking outside in the yard, playing with his kids, the, door, the um, TheraBand can help his dorsiflexion. Later down the road, if we need to um, look into AFOs, because his, you know, his disease will progress, we can do that. But I think right now the TheraBand will be a good intervention. Um, also, for the balance, I want to work on his left single leg stance balance, um, or just left balance left-sided balance in general because I feel like if he feels like he's more balanced when he does trip because that foot gets caught, he will be able to catch himself and regain balance more quickly. Um, so I think what we will do is get some foam out, stand on the foam, um, so do some 
dynamic reversals, anterior, posterior, and left and right. That way he can, you know, feel more balanced on that left side especially. Um, this way he can get back to being a father.